Hello and good out of Yom Tov. Today is the 18th day of Kislev. 5769 Hayom No Tachnan at Mincha time. The Tzemach Tzedek writes, The love expressed in Besides You I Wish for Nothing, the footnote says Tehillim 7325, means that one should desire nothing other than God, not even heaven or earth, i.e. higher Gan Eden and lower Gan Eden. For these were created with a mere Yud, the first letter of Shem Havaya, uh, the divine essence name Havaya, is the source of all creation. Olam Haba, spiritual hereafter, including Gan Eden, was created from the first and smallest letter, Yud, of that name. The love is to be directed to Him alone, to His very being and essence. This was actually expressed by my master and teacher. Footnote says, after teacher there appears in Hebrew the expression, May soul rest in Eden. The Alta Rebbe, when he was in a state of devekut, ecstatic, cleaving devotion to God. See Tonati Shvat for more details. And he exclaimed as follows. Listen to the Alta Rebbe. I want nothing at all. I don't want your Gan Eden. I don't want your Olam Haba. I want nothing but you alone. Good Yom Tov. May you be inscribed and sealed for a good year in the study of Chassidus and in the ways of Chassidus. Uh, this quote from the Alter Rebbe, by the way, is something that, uh, if you think about it, it reminds me of uh, Moshe Rabbeinu, when he spent a week on Har Sinai, you know, being uh, anointed for prophecy and to, to be the Nasi Yedair, and he's just falling in love with God. And at one point, uh, he says, uh, what are you? You know, and God says, I, I, yeah, should I, yeah, I, you know, like, I am what I, I am, what I will be, basically. Like, you're never going to understand me, Moshe Rabbeinu. And it's a very romantic moment between Moshe Rabbeinu and God. And um, it just this, like, uh, and, and the author of it, many generations later, comes to realize that even, you know, the, the Chachami would promise us Gan Eden, Alam Haba, all these things. The author of it says, I don't want any of it. He's, the author of it is lusting after God, but God's essence, not the manifestations of godliness. I want you alone. And then uh, the, the, this, uh, this, this bracha that we say, and the study of Chassidus is to open up the book and learn Chassidus. And when it says a good year, it means that you should uh, intellectually understand concepts that you didn't understand last year. And the ways of Chassidus means that you should act like a Chassid. Acting like a Chassid means uh, caring about other Chassidim, making sure they're going to Shurim, to Fabrengen, making sure that the spirit of Chassidishkeit in your neighborhood, in your, in your community, is being upheld and being observed. If a brain at least once a month, you know, you daven the way you should, like a chassid davens, you eat the way a chassid eats, you sleep the way a chassid sleeps, you know, you walk in the street like a chassid walks in the street, like the Rebbe Marash was fond of saying. And, um, and that's it. So I hope you enjoy not saying Tafn and Mincha today, if, if that's the Minigah you're sure. And I hope you uh, really, really enjoyed uh, today, the last day of the year. All the best.